So what has Brianna done to us? She's made us arrive an entire day early. It is approximately 2.37 in the morning and um, this is our room, the lobby. This is the best. Breaking news, we are just about packed to go on the next big adventure. We got all of our suitcases here, all our other bags and whatnot. Brendan? Brianna! Are you ready for this? I hope so, because you packed me. <laughs> yeah, you didn't pack any of yours. <laughs> so if I'm not, <laughs> it's you that made me unready. All of our suitcases ready. Time to go. I just want you close to me. Though we have a rivalry, we've been on this battlefield. Will you just take off your shield? Please just take off your shield. Out of food and gasoline. Fighting like we are machines But we're just scraps and broken wheels So would you just take off your shield? Please just take off your shield Mom, I don't know what to do Because my wife booked the flight for tomorrow and we board the 13th today is the 11th so I'm trying to figure out do I spend hundred and eighty dollars to fly down there tonight to get a hotel room tomorrow so that I can make this work As far as I know, the, the, only, the thing is, is that to get on a flight tonight, I have to pay 180 extra dollars. I know, but that's not the issue. I don't, if I fly out tomorrow, it's the 12th, and then we don't board until the 13th. I'd have to get a hotel for tonight and tomorrow. Mm -mm. No, it wouldn't. It'd be just one night because we'd get there on the 12th. I'm just a little frustrated and I couldn't make a decision. Wait, hold on, can I talk to Kimmy? Mom, Brianna wants to talk to you. Do you think it'll make it better if I said I did it for the YouTubes? <laughs> Why am I this way? Why am I this way? Why do I do these things? I'm not fighting anymore. stupid war so I'm not fighting anymore I'm throwing all my weapons down on this bedroom floor so be my honey once again can you just tell us a little bit of what has happened what had happened was we arrived and we're checking in and as we're checking in it just says you can't check in yet you need to check in after 8 55 p.m and brianna goes that doesn't make sense because that's when our flight leaves 
And I was like, okay. So I look at her phone and what does it say? See, mind you, today is the 11th. It's May 11th. I look at her phone and what does it say? Your departure time is 8.55 p.m. on May 12th. So I'm like, hmm, that's a bit of an issue. <laughs> because our cruise is supposed to leave 12th. Which, that's a problem because we want to get there in time, obviously. So she's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a minute, give me a minute, let's go over here. Hold on, give me a minute. <laughs> you go over, and she looks at the cruise information, and what does it say? Oh, we don't get on the cruise until May 13th. So what has Brianna done to us? She's made us arrive an entire day early the airport. I would just like to say it's all because I was so excited for vacation. That's what it's all about is being excited for our honeymoon and our vacation. It's gonna be so fun still. So now we have to spend more money to stay an extra day in Florida well, and flights. Okay remember we didn't have to. I said it could be fun if we can fun. afford it but then you said it's our honeymoon let's just do it. Yep. Craziness. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. But we're going to be leaving probably in um, about 50 minutes or so, maybe less, 45 minutes. And um, yeah, this is just, this is a typical Brianna vacation, Brianna travel. It's something, all right. It's something. What you doing over there, buddy? Trying to find somewhere to sleep. It's all part of the adventure. Right? It's a wild ride with you. Current situation, it's one o'clock in the morning. We're just gonna ask them to turn these here conveyor belts on. That would be sleep great. on them as they go. Okay, around. that would be great. <clears throat> we might have a place to sleep tonight. We might not. It's always yep, wild it's ride Brianna. We are. Here's an update. It is approximately 2.37 in the morning and um, this is our room, the lobby. I mean granted it is a beautiful hotel but we would love to go to sleep. It's okay though. We just door dashed some snacks and some water and at least they have access to a public bathroom in here. But we'll be here hanging, chilling, maybe napping until we can actually get into our room. The long story short is basically we were told over the phone that we could do early check-in and it was just a cheap little fee to do that. We get here and they said, well, we can't do that unless you wanna pay for a whole nother room but in hotel world, their clock doesn't run on a normal clock. So basically at six-ish this morning is when their new clock rolls over. And so they wanted us to basically pay for a full night for four hours and we weren't about to do that. So we said we'll make ourselves at home until our room is ready, which might not even be until nine o'clock, but I don't know. We'll see. We're just going to make the most of it. That's that's what we do here. This is the most me vacation I think we've ever been on. So Brianna likes to do this thing where she orders many, many snacks. So she did. She ordered a bunch of snacks. 
but is sleeping over there. And she now is not going to eat any of these snacks. Oh. Just add it to our luggage, I guess. Well, it's been a couple hours. She's awoken. It's 6 a.m. I'm eating a pizza lunchable on the couch of some hotel lobby. <laughs> I don't even know where we are. I don't even know what time it is. You just said what time it was. I don't know. I don't know. Are you happy with your decisions? You know, I am still. I am. <laughs> as uncomfortable as I am, mm. as much as I'm hating how my whole body is feeling so sticky and gross and nasty, this is going to be the best story to tell. I'm all in it for the story, man. Should have been a journalist. Do it for the vine. Do it for the vine. On a good note, they have breakfast coming here shortly. Not that it matters. It's really dinner because, you know, I haven't gone to sleep yet. Been up since, uh, what time did I get, I get up? 11 yesterday? Been up since like 11 yesterday, so. But yeah, buff breakfast buffet is going to be right over there, so that'll be nice. And maybe Brianna will have eggs with her uh, lunchable pizza. Um, this is the worst food I've ever eaten in my life. Breakfast time. Potatoes. Or dinner. I can't quite figure out what it is yet. Dinner. <laughs> there was bacon and sausage and eggs and all that good stuff on these plates. I didn't have eggs, but you did. Whew. I'm ready to go to our bedroom. So we are going to try for the second time. It is, my watch is dead. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. is our update now. And we're gonna go see if we can go get our room now. <sighs> we're fueled. We are fueled and ready to go to fight the good fight. So hopefully we can go get our room. <laughs> It's gonna be so fun. We are now ready, I think, for vacay mode. Ready to go. After this morning's stresses. Yeah, so apparently, Brendan got put down for overtime while he's on vacation. It just didn't really make a whole lot of sense. So he's been spending this whole time trying to find somebody to cover it, and yeah, it's been a whole thing. So now, vacay mode engaged. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this is the best. Wow, blue water, <laughs> palm trees. Brendan uh, wanted to get some Haitian food and um, we did and it really kind of messed us up because there's so much! We're watching Despicable Me so just hold on for a moment. Tell us what happened. I ate a lot of Haitian food. What'd you order? Well, I thought it was going to be sauce paw. Which, which is? is like a bean sauce. But you would put that with your rice. Phenomenal. And then we ordered 
I don't even know how many pickles and how many plantains, but a lot. And then we got chicken dinners with them because you gotta have. I'm pretty sure they just deep fry the chicken, but that's really good. And, and it made a little bit of a mess, so we put on a towel. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were trying to think ahead by having this towel here. We saw like, well, too when they gave us the rice, you would think that like this thing would just be leveled with it. No, they filled the lid too. And I don't even know how they did it, but they filled the <laughs> lid too, which is an astronomical amount of rice. So I'm about to take a nap. I'm taking a nap right here. So we're going to have to clean this up and then we're, we're going to bed. Yep. All right. Peace out. Peace out, yo. Tomorrow's the big day. This is why I should take care of it all. <laughs> I just love all these people. The staff is so amazing with Carnival. Absolutely amazing. So on my first cruise, I was totally thrown off because every time you get onto the ship, you actually have to go to something called a muster station. So this is where you will end up going if there is any sort of emergency on deck and um, for some reason you need to leave the ship quickly or whatever. And so when you go to your muster station, right when you get onto the boat, you actually have to get a safety briefing of how to put on a life jacket, where your lifeboat is, all that fun stuff. So that's what we did here in the auditorium. Why are you whispering? We're on the ship. About to do what's it called? I'm assuming our safety demo. Yeah. Muster station. So we're in the liquid lounge. We accidentally ended up here because we were just like, well, there's a long line for the elevator. Let's just take the stairs up three decks. <laughs> yeah. So we do. And then we start walking around for a second and this guy's standing there holding a the sign. He's like are you, uh, are you station A5? And we're like, well, I don't know what we are. <laughs> and he's like, well, let me look at your th slip. So he looks at it. He's like, oh, yeah, this is you guys. Just go in here and do your demo and get it out of the way. I'm like, <laughs> so, works for us. We can't get our room for another hour. So Yeah, so we'll just hang out here until it's time for getting in our room. Still trying to figure out where we get our little card things at, but I'm thinking they're in our rooms. I'm just here. <laughs> just like I was here for when... She booked us, well not booked us, when we showed up to the airport a day early. But you know, it ended up being so worth it, didn't it? It was fun. It's just like, I'm here. Maybe I should pay attention a little more so we don't end up places a day early. <laughs> but we got to start vacation early. Brendan was saying when we were getting on the ship that um, it felt like our vacation had already ended because we were in the hotel and it was so fun. We went swimming and had the tropical time and now we just get to start another vacation. For nine days. <laughs> nine days. It's going to be a blast. <laughs> Here's what's to come. Typical Brianna and Brendan fashion, we immediately migrate to the marina.
Thanks so much for watching BNB Serenity and Adventure.